welcome back to the channel it's been a while since i've uploaded i have been so busy getting settled in the new house and doing so many different things if you haven't checked out my latest youtube channel this is a new channel that i created for home stuff for more personal vlogs i'm excited to share you a different side of my life with you guys be sure to check it out joanna marie vlogs i'll leave everything right here today i'm going to be doing an oil change on my ford raptor this is my first oil change since i bought the car i am uh, a little overdue <laughs> this is going to be my first time actually changing the oil on the truck so hopefully it's not too complicated it should be fairly simple right now i'm going to get a quick workout in and then we're going to head to advance get our oil get our filter and get the oil changed in the truck so this vlog is going to be a little bit different and you guys are going to be able to see some of the stuff that i post on my other channel joanna marie vlogs um i'm gonna again get a quick workout in so i'm gonna bring you guys with me and then we're gonna go grab some oil filter and everything we need to get the oil changed in the truck. so let's get this workout in so we can go ahead and begin the oil change workout and now i'm headed to advance to go ahead and purchase oil and filter so we can go home and get this oil change in the truck it's gonna be fun <laughs> i'm sure the oil is gonna be extremely hot so i'll figure it out since i've been driving the truck around probably let it cool down for a minute and then begin the oil change process i'm hoping that this is much easier than a vehicle because since it's a truck i don't have to jack it up i don't have to lift it i should be able to go right underneath locate the filter locate the drain bolt and do all of that so let's see just how easy this is gonna be. <laughs> what the heck is this? That's the problem with America. <laughs> These are the thicker ones. These are the ones I like because they don't rip easily. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got our oil. I had to go with Penn's oil, and I'll explain a little bit later when we get to the house why I chose this. Um, again, it's all preference. Everyone likes oil. This is actually my first oil change in here, but I've used Penn's oil and my other vehicles, so that's really why I'm sticking to it. Especially with the Jeep. Penn's oil made like a Jeep SRT edition oil, and I used to fill it up with that and never had any problems, so I'm gonna stick with Penn's oil. My first oil change, my first time working on the car in the new house, so hopefully I have everything that I need. I grab this to take the oil out, and then we've got tons of other goodies here, so let's get going. All right, guys, so I got the truck in the garage right now, and I have everything that I'm going to be using over here. I have my pan to drain the oil into, and then I have the Platinum Full Synthetic 5W30 oil that I'm going to be using. Again, I'm using Penn's oil of my choice for this first oil change. Once I do some more modifications, I'll look into changing the oil, maybe getting a different brand. I ran Penn's oil in my Jeep SRT. So I've absolutely had no issues with it. Um, so I'm deciding to stick with this for this first oil change in the truck. And then I went with the more expensive, I guess you would say, oil filter. Typically, I like using OEM filters whenever I do oil changes, but I need to do this really quick and I couldn't get my hands on an OEM one fast. So we'll be doing a little bit of maintenance on this. Um, let's go ahead and get started. I don't think it's gonna be as easy or really that hard to be honest, but I kind of looked up some videos. All right, so once you get under the car, you have this skip plate and you're gonna move back. You're gonna see this, it says, remove for oil change. So you have three bolts, one, two, and three, and this is gonna be a 10 millimeter. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this and this should give you access to 
the oil pan. All right, guys, so unfortunately, like I say, when you work on a car, nothing ever comes easy. The glass oil change did not use the correct bolt. We were supposed to have three ten. Don't mind my glove. <laughs> we were supposed to have three 10 millimeter bolts and we only have two. And for some reason we have this weird star looking bolt. I tried a 10 millimeter and as you guys can see, I'm stripping it. I tried a three eighths and it's not going anywhere. So this is the last bolt that I need to get started. And I don't have the right tools to try to get this off. Um, I'm trying hard with everything that I have and it's just not given in so I'm gonna have to make a quick run to the store and try to get some more tools and things to help me get this off and then we will resume the video the next day huge shout out to Gabe from fly air performance for doing the install for me Gabe actually does bag installations literally every day for a living on so many different cars I am getting ready to do a trip soon I'm taking the Evo down to Miami so be on the lookout I'm not gonna say much but we're gonna be shooting some fire content down there Right now I'm getting ready to ride with Maria. It's gonna be my first time driving her car and I get to feel the difference between the 2.0 and the 2.3. So i um, looking forward to that. So let me let this cool down and we'll go for a ride in her car. So I'm pretty much in a rush because I'm trying to get the truck and every car pretty much ready to go down there. So he helped me take care of that in just one day and he also helped me remove this freaking cover that was such a pain all because of one bolt and literally because I didn't have the proper tools to remove that bolt. But once I put this back in, I'm putting back three 10 millimeter bolts as it should have been to begin with. So I'm gonna go ahead and start by removing the oil drain plug and then we're gonna move this cover. And this is a T40 Allen that you're gonna use to remove this. I already went ahead and cracked all the bolts. And this is going to give you access to the oil filter. So let's go ahead and get this oil change done because I did not want this to be a two day process, but it's all right, this is how you learn. And now I feel like in the future it's gonna be super easy. All right guys, so I'm about to get started and I found a little helper here. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> She's so cute. This is my cousin's baby. She's adorable. They've been visiting me for the weekend from North Carolina. So she's gonna be my little assistant today. You ready? <laughs> All right, let's get started. All right, here we go. You heard her. She said, I'm helping Titi. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Epic fail. I fail, bro. Ah! This came squirting out. It's squirting everywhere. Oh. Oh. Yeah, don't get a raptor, please. <laughs> Holy <laughs> Look at how she's wrong. Look at how she's getting <laughs> revolu. Mira como esto, oh. mira. I should have made something uh, to drain it better. It's going everywhere. Here goes my driveway. <laughs> Bro. There we go. All right, so I just drained the oil and then right now what I'm gonna do is tighten up the drain plug and go ahead and remove the oil filter and let that oil come out of there. And then we can go ahead and throw the new filter on and 
put the oil in the car and then put all the covers back where they belong. Yep. Keep going. There you go. Good job. Good job. All right, guys. So once you remove this cover, then you should be able to see the filter. Mine is bright and white. And I'm going to be replacing it with the one that I bought from Advance. Ford did the worst location for an oil filter ever. So just remove the filter and now I'm getting ready to install the new one. Everyone is different when they do oil changes. Some may put oil in here, some may not. Personally, it's all personal preference. I like to pour just a little bit of oil in here just so there's already lubrication going on when you turn the vehicle on and you don't have to wait for the oil to fully run through. There's already oil in here. So I'm gonna put a little bit in here and then I'm going to put it back on and all that stuff is to add the oil and we'll pretty much be done with the oil change. All right guys, so I just finished putting the oil filter back on. Drain bolt is tight. And before I put these covers back on, what I wanna do is go ahead and put the oil in. These trucks take six quarts of oil, so what I'm gonna do is put the six quarts in and then I'm gonna back the car up. We're gonna check the dipstick while the car is sitting flat, make sure that's sufficient enough. And then from there, we'll start it and make sure there's no leaks before I put the cover back on. Because once these covers go back on, if I have any leaks, it's going to be very hard to see anything drip on the floor. So let's go ahead and put some oil in and then we can move the car. All right, all done. So now that I put my six quarts of oil, I checked the dipstick, everything looks good to go. What I need to do now is start the car and reset the oil life on here. So this is gonna be my first time doing this. I'll do a step-by-step -step instruction for you guys. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna press the start button and you're not gonna hold the brake. So this is essentially just gonna give you power. You're not gonna turn the vehicle on. And then you're gonna go to your settings. And then once you're in your settings, you're gonna go to vehicle and then you'll go to oil life reset. And then to reset, you're just gonna Hold the OK button, and there you go, back to 100%. We should be good to go here. I am letting the truck run now for a little bit. I'm about to go underneath now, and let's see if we have any leaks. I'm looking now, I don't see any leaks. We should be good to go. You guys can see the filter there. A good way to check, honestly, is to record a video. I put my phone in there with the flash and basically just watched it and made sure that there were no leaks. And then now, I'm going to check where the drain bolt is. And as you guys can see, the drain bolt is right here and we have zero leaks as well. So we should be good to go. I can go ahead and put this cover back on and that should be it for this oil change. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So many more videos to come to this channel. I know I have been slacking, but I have been getting settled in my new home and so much has been going on but i'm gonna update you guys on the civic update you guys on the evo and so much more thank you guys for watching i'll catch you on the next video peace